Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. Um, what we got here is the Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0. Uh, I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are on this weapon. It is my first pistol that I've owned. It is not the first pistol that I've shot though. Honestly, uh, I love it and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. Let's take a closer look. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here, whoever's here. We appreciate it. So here you go, the uh, MMP M2.0 9mm compact, this is the 4-inch uh, barrel version, this is the in-between version between the 5-inch and the smaller shield. Um, so right off the bat let me tell you this weapon is great, comes in a cardboard box which is literally the worst thing about this pistol. The cardboard box and, the, and uh, where that it comes packaged in is not that great. But other than that, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, let me tell you, this is a gun that's uh, confident inducing. As soon as you shoot it, you feel like, wow, you're, you're a great marksman. But it's, it really is the, the gun. Um, it's just the, you know, sight acquiring is super easy, feels very natural. Um, not like the Glocks, for example, and, and I'm not a Glock hater, but that's just, that's my just honest opinion. Give me one second. Um, Glock, Smith & Wesson, you know, um, CZs, all your big brands, they all have something good going for them. That's why, you know, they sell weapons because they, you know, all of them shoot. And that's what you want. You want a gun that shoots. So... This MMP, right off the bat, I can tell you, you take it out of the box, comes without the light, comes just like this. I'm not going to remove the light for the purpose of this uh, review. I want to tell you, out the box, this stippling job comes with it. It also comes with these back straps. Let me show you right here. And right here. So you have... This one right here, come on, focus. This is a, a large, are you gonna focus please? There it is, large. This one right here, which is, uh, what is this? This is medium large, comes with this nice little tail here. Then you have this one right here, which is I believe the medium. Yep, this is the medium. I use the small. There it is. And this is the small right here. Bam. I have small hands, but that's what I'm working with. Uh, it comes also out the box with the 17 uh, round mag magazine extensions. So if you get the 17 round mags this will fit right here make it nice and flush with that bigger mag it's 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 awesome but they're hard to find right now with everything going on everything's hard to find right now so here it is this stippling job right off the bat i didn't have to do anything to this this is like sandpaper it does not hurt my hands but it does provide a great grip oh and here you go empty empty mag empty chamber so there it is um yeah so let me move on this right here uh for example my wife didn't really like it when she started shooting it she's like wow i didn't even notice and it provides a great grip if you can't hold this gun with this grip then there's something wrong with your wrist um then you have this trigger right here i'll show it to you uh clear one more time there we go boom so you're going to get a great little wall right here, boom, wall, 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 and right after the wall, click, boom. And I normally don't shoot with this part of my finger, I usually a little bit more, but uh, to show you guys, a nice little wall. My wife seems to like this, one of my buddies shot this gun, he seems to like my, my trigger. This is a stock trigger, everything in the gun is stock except for the TRL-7 right here, and um... Other than that, that is the the trigger. Very nice trigger. Very nice trigger. Shape's kind of different. It's very uh, moon shaped. Some people like the flat triggers. Some people like the moon shaped triggers. I don't care as long as I can pull the trigger 
and it feel nice and crisp. That's all I care about. Um, I, I'm hesitant to modify the trigger because it feels so good. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that for a little while longer. This is my home defense weapon, my go-to. And congratulations to me. Yesterday I found out that I will be getting my conceals weapons permit. I'm going to make a video about something that, uh, about the concealed weapons permit in a few weeks as well. Because with all this corona stuff, even me, a veteran, um, it's hard to get. It's hard to get fingerprints and all that stuff. But that's a, a conversation for another day. But yeah, so this is going to also be my everyday carry. So, um, it's like I said before in prior in my prior video, it's the hap it's a happy medium. It's not too big to carry and it's not too small. It does have come with 15 round magazines plus one. Um, steel mags, or aluminum mags, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Here's the other one. That's the second magazine right there. This one is loaded. This is coming from my holster. Um, what do I got here? I have um, six hour um, hollow points. I like them. I've shot them before. They're great. So another thing about this gun uh, that I did notice, I've shot about 700 rounds, I'm closing in on a thousand rounds on it. Uh, it has not failed me. I have not had a a stoppage, a malfunction. Uh, I've shot range ammo, ballpoint ammo, full metal jacket, you know that stuff. And I've also shot hollow points out of it. I haven't had a single issue with this gun. Now, something else about this gun I noticed. This is a very simple gun. You you get for 560 to 580, maybe a little less if you're lucky. Uh, who knows at this point? Maybe it's probably going to be more now that I think about it. But with this weapon, it does come with a lot. You get bang for your buck. So I, I do recommend it for your first time buyers. This is something right in the middle. It is not a beginner gun for, for any means, but it is easier to use. It, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it is great. I mean, what, what else do you need? You need a reliable weapon. That's what you need. So that's something I do appreciate about this gun. It is fantastic, especially for first-time users. It, it, it Recoil is super manageable. Trigger feels super smooth. Um, MMP is, has, is doing great, great things right now. A lot of their weapons... They're even eye catchy. There's, you know, you have this, um, these, these slide serrations. They do work. They're very grippy. They're very grippy. And I have small hands, so if I can feel any tactile, this grip, this magazine release, very, very tactile feel here. You press it, boom, shoots out. Um, it's it's very eye catching, very appealing, and it also is very practical do you also have these front serrations on the slide for you guys who like to do your little front checks but um like i said these uh i think i've mentioned this before but uh these are mostly for looks i don't really use them um sights let's move on to the sights the sights are fantastic they're fantastic look at that when you pull this gun up i promise you 99 percent of everyone who's never even shot a gun will be able to acquire this front sight very easily. It stands out, it's comfortable. When you pull it out, it's very natural to your to your arm and your eyesight. It's it's very easy to, to acquire targets with this and acquire your front sight. It's something else that I also love about this weapon. I um I am gonna put night sights and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Night sights will be aftermarket Trigicon and then the TLR7, that's the only thing that I, that I'm gonna use. Now when I hold this weapon I uh I don't use this finger because my hands are actually small, like I said. And uh I there's women with bigger hands than me. Don't that's just genetics, that's how it goes. I and I'm totally fine with it. So instead of using this finger, I usually just leave my hand out if I'm acquiring a target. Uh in the middle of the night, if I if 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 I need to, I'll kinda cheat. But this is how I do it. Get that firm grip, that high grip, boom. See how I, I cannot reach, if I'm gripping this correctly, cannot reach that button, right? It doesn't matter because I like to leave my trigger finger accessible and I either go like this or like this. This light, boom, boom. That's how I would use this light and I just want to let you know that it works perfect because it's flush and it works perfect with my holster. I don't want it to get cut off on anything. Even if it wasn't on my holster, you know, in the on the nightstand in my safe, it's not going to catch on anything. You know, 
a chair, a wall, you know, pants, whatever the case may be, a pillow, who knows, you never know. So this flush mounted light, I enjoyed. I enjoy, I think it's, it's tactical, I think it's eye catching and it worked fine for me. You know, you can put those bigger lights all you want, go for it. Um, but this is my everyday do it all weapon that I'm going to go to, especially because it's dependable. I haven't had any, any stoppages. I haven't had any issues with ammo. So that's one good thing. Here you go. This is how, boom, there you go. The mag's in there. It's nice and, and it works perfectly. This is very easy to manage. Let me see if I can do it. Boom. There you go. So that's another thing too. Very easy to manage. It, it, it grips to your hand very well. All the functions are easily, uh, if I can reach them, you can reach them. Um, let me go ahead and just do this for you guys. Let's remove this. Boom, very easy. I like to pull the trigger because it's faster. Uh, a lot of, I know a lot of people don't do that, but it seems to not do anything for me. I'm okay with that. Boom. Oh, are you going to go, sir? Or is it because I have the mag in? Maybe we have the mag in. Let's try that again. Boom, there it is. There's that. Nice and clean. There are your mechanics. You know, you have the polymer bottom. It's very light, even with the light on, very light. I do, I do want to emphasize, when I put this light, it also gave me a little bit more recoil management. So that, that added weight made it nice and sturdy, nice and sturdy. I don't have any issues with recoil with this gun. Um, it does pack a little bit of a kick, but it is, it is nothing compared to, um, you know, a 45 or something like that. This is a nine millimeter, easy to use. Easy to handle. There's the other side for you guys who want to see the other side. Boom. You can switch that if you like. Bam. Then you have the slide. It comes with that nice little, um, I guess that is for, um, for it not to get too dirty and not to move too much and get, stay there. I don't know, you guys in the comment below, let me know why they put that stuff that looks like thread lock on there. Um, I'm not a big pistol guy. I don't attempt to claim I'm the greatest shooter in the world. Uh, I do know how to shoot a gun. I'm comfortable shooting a gun. I'm, I'm comfortable in shooting a gun under stress. Um, and this gun is super easy to handle, and I, and it does it it is accurate. It's very accurate. Um, when I first shot it, I'll show some video about me shooting it the first time. I hadn't shot a pistol in so long. My groups were kind of everywhere, but now they're. They're a little better now now i can ding targets pretty well it only took me a couple hours to get it back into the groove and with this weapon that is something that it definitely helps you gain confidence get comfortable and things like that smith and wesson springfield mass usa bam america right nine millimeter that's that you just slide this back in Let's see if i can do this on camera bam just These gloves are hard to use. Let's try that again. The gloves are getting stuck to my hand. There you go. Sorry about that. Boom. All right. So there it is. Um, 
the Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 compact 9mm. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please go for it. Leave them down below. I will be doing another video on uh, the installment of the night sights. And um, just remember, if you're going to buy a gun, buy something that you're comfortable with. Uh, I don't recommend going small. A lot of people have heard that, you know, going small is good. Women or men, just go and get something that you like. Go and get something that you think you're going to shoot well. Go and get something that's going to inspire you to protect yourself, your family, and friends. Um, buy something that you want. It, the price is, is second. Yeah, you know, guns aren't cheap, but I am glad that this was my first weapon. Um, I'm glad I didn't go smaller. I'm glad I didn't go bigger. This is this is something that I you know if I have a motorcycle people say get a 600 you know what get a 750 get a get a 1000 you can learn on anything if you learn on something bigger badder you know you're gonna be able to shoot something smaller you're gonna be able to shoot anything so just remember um, always be careful gun safety that's first and foremost and second have fun have a lot of fun okay check you guys out later.